Hey everybody, and welcome to Equine Photo School. We are going to first do a little introduction, but right away we're gonna get into cameras, lenses, and lighting. This is kind of like an introduction to photography. So if you're just getting started with photography, if you just, you know, you just got your very first camera, or uh, you know maybe you've been at it for a while but you're just not really you know getting the images that you want we want to start here we want to start and build a great like foundation a great framework for you to build on and that that starts with cameras lenses lighting you know some basics of photography and i know everybody hates to be a beginner and hates to be you know an, a noob at this but we all start somewhere and if you skip this part you're gonna kind of forever be a noob. You're gonna not really get it. You know, there's never gonna be that aha moment where it all clicks. If you don't, you know, kind of study the basics, we're gonna go into aperture, ISO, shutter speed, all that kind of stuff too. All of the like, all of the basic stuff, I want you to get you guys really familiar with your cameras, how they work, what the different options are, the different settings, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, that is really like, if you don't know that, then you're not gonna be able to know the more advanced stuff later. So dive into this with me and let's get started. All right, before we get started on the camera gear, the equipment, how to use it, all the settings, all that stuff, let me tell you a little bit about me and why I know this stuff and why I'm gonna be able to teach you so you're gonna be successful in your photography career. Or if you just wanna do this for fun, you're gonna get some great images out of this and I promise this is where it all begins, is right here. Now, approximately seven years ago in 2014, I started photography with my very first camera. It was given to me to shoot pictures of stuff on a table and I had no idea what I was doing. I brought it to work that day and I was working in the courthouse as a landman, kind of an intern for Peabody, and I was taking pictures with my phone and it was just awful, it sucked. So my parents, you know, felt bad for me gave me a birthday present, I was in college, and they said, here, why don't you use this camera? Because you know, I told them I'm saving up for one and that's what other guys are using, so I'm gonna wanna be like them you know, when I grow up. So I got this camera, I started fiddling with all the settings, I, you know, some stuff seemed intuitive, so I set it where I thought it would be perfect, took some pictures, got back to the office to my boss that night, or that, you know, that evening, and she said, this isn't what I wanted you to do. These, these, are, these are miserable. And if, uh, you know, if you can make this as fast as the iPhone, then you can keep doing it. But this isn't what I wanted because the iPhone was fast and it, you know, it, it put it into PDF and all that. I said, yeah, no problem. PDF, I know PDFs. I'll build this really fast, be easy. It wasn't easy. And uh, actually I had screwed up and made my file size so small that you couldn't even read any of the documents anyway. So it was a total bust, a total waste. I had no idea what I was doing and I had to admit, I'm a noob, got a camera last night. So uh, that sucked, it was awful and I'd never wanna go through that again and you are not gonna go through that again either. Now, fast forward seven years later, I'm bringing in $300,000 a year with just photography and that is super cool. I've built a little business. I've employed my friends, I've helped my family, I've done a lot of things, a lot of good things for a lot of people, and I've been able to do that all over the country. I got friends in Texas, we're here in Arizona now, and uh, you know, things are cool. So I've, I've got friends from you know, the Canadian border and friends in Canada, and friends all the way down to the Mexican border and the Gulf and all across the Western US, and that's all because of photography. So. I've sold a little over $1.2 million in photos and I'm gonna teach you how. And it's using all of this basic stuff. We just, you know, are applying the basics over and over and over. Kind of like if you get a black belt in karate, that just means that you've mastered the basics, right? So that's what we're gonna do in this little short course. And then we're gonna go deep into some nuanced like sort of data here. But I wanna get you guys to where you are taking sharp pictures every time you're getting the settings right you're doing all the things we're handling files correctly we're going to go through the entire process and it's going to be really informative really beneficial for you